It, it got a nice little weight to it. This definitely could be like, why are you here? Bow. And then you get you got enough time to call the cops, make you a cup of tea, get you some tissue, wipe your tears away, all of that after you hit somebody with this. Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogtober Day 10. So I am just leaving the dentist's office. Um, I just got the second part of my root canal treatment. I am done. My tooth feels regular like the rest of the teeth. I wish I would have known about them first. I went to um, Contemporary Endodontics in Palos Heights and my dentist's name was um, Dr. Pasowicz. Oh, I know I'm butchering his name. I'm gonna put it up on the screen in Palos Heights very very good i wish i would have known about them before um very personable very quick my appointment was at 10 30 i got there at 10 27 guess what time i was in the chair guess what time i was in the chair 10 30 did i have to wait long before the dentist came in no you know sometimes they seat you and they put you in a dentist room and then you be in there forever no not here not at not at contemporary ease not a contemporary endodontics no they don't do that they don't do that very um professional did every oh, i'm when i tell y'all i am over the moon absolutely over the moon i am now on my way to um cooper's hawk to get some champagne because i haven't had no champagne in a long time because there's no cooper's hawk near me but i know it's one like 11 minutes from here so um yeah, that's where I'm going. It's a home goods by there. I've been there before. I've been to that home goods before. But I kind of just want to go in there to look and see. I still need a nightstand. Um, oh, it's so dark. I still I still need a nightstand. So I think oh I might God, go like into that life. home goods just to look for a nightstand. And that's it. That's the plan. That's it. And then I'm going to go to Cooper's Hawk just for some wine, some champagne, some, I guess, they said Prosecco is sparkling wine. So I get for some wine. Turn right on West 111th Street. Oh, shit, my bad. Y'all, y'all missed how we missed my damn time. Hey, y'all, so it's a TJ Maxx right next to this home goods. So I think I'm actually gonna go into the TJ Maxx first. <laughs> Let me show y'all. So we got the TJ Maxx. Right next to the home goods. So we're going into TJ Maxx first, y'all. Come on. So I just dropped my items off from that I got from TJ Maxx. I'll show you guys when I get back. And now we are on our way into Home Goods. So let's go to Home Goods, y'all.
glasses. I don't know if they're going to have them here. They have a lot of selections. I'm not seeing them here. But they do have these. Cause when it's home goods ever failed me, not never. guys so i'm just leaving cooper's hawk in oak lawn um i got my wine so i'm super excited i got a lot of nice stuff to show you guys when i get back to the house um this cooper's hawk in oak lawn it's a lot of it was it was a lot of black people up in here y'all i love to see it so i'm definitely going to have to have a um dinner date brunch date a date with myself and come back up to this cooper's hawk in oak lawn because i'm loving it yes i love eating with my people yes i love it so okay you guys i'll get back up with you when i get back to the palace so i will see you guys soon hey y'all so i'm back at the palace so my cycle started y'all so i got home and i took a nap i ain't even gonna lie it's now like five something so i'm gonna show y'all everything i got i just woke up popped this shirt back on i said but let's we, we still got stuff to do we, we still gonna get this vlog out today so let me show y'all what i got she be egg I want to spoil with. So, I got some candles, y'all. So, first, these are the candles that I got from Home Goods. Or should I start with the ones I got from TJ Maxx? Yeah, let me start with the ones I got from TJ Maxx so we can stay in order of the way that video is going to be edited. Ugh. So, I'm with TJ Maxx. I got four candles from TJ Maxx and it totaled $41.85 at TJ Maxx. So, this is the first, this is the first candle that I got. It is, hopefully I see that, Fright Night Cocoa. It smells like, it smells like hot cocoa. And I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait for my room to smell like that. Let me see, make sure it's in frame still. Get a little cushion behind it so that was the first one that i got i went into a candle section and i was just like yeah i go through candles very very quickly i don't know about y'all but i go through like a candle this size maybe a week maybe this one is my favorite y'all this is the apple honey butter this smells so delicious oh Ooh, this smells so delicious. This candle was $9.99. This candle was $9.99. I think all these candles were $9.99 from TJ Maxx. This next candle that I got, TJ Maxx, that was $9.99 also, was is Calming Waves. I really wish they put the price tags on the bottom because it, they don't always come off right. And so now I got to... Why am I, I'm re-smelling them, y'all, like I ain't smelled them before. This gives me like a um a sea breeze type scent, and I really, really like that. This apple honey butter smells like, like cinnamon apples. And then the last candle that I got from TJ Maxx was this one. And this is 
I hope y'all can see this. If not, I'm telling y'all anyway. Pumpkin soy latte. I think this one was this one was seven ninety nine, and this one's this one got like a sweet type smell to it, like a latte. I ain't really taste. I ain't tasting Laura. I ain't really smelling the pumpkin. So those are those candles that I got from TJ Maxx. Then I went next door, y'all, as y'all saw, to Home Goods. Y'all know I always cut the fuck up at Home Goods. I did. I don't feel like I did really. Y'all, first of all, I spent $145.43 at Home Goods. I mean, considering I did good. Considering how I usually cut the fuck up at home goods, I did good. So that's how much I spent at home goods. And at home goods, you might say, What did she get at home goods? Some little little knickknacks, because that's what I do. One thing y'all might not know about me, I love Marvel, and it's kind of hard for me to pass up when I see Marvel items. I want to incorporate some black into this room. So I got this. Kind of go with my shirt. I got this, y'all. It is. It got a nice little weight to it. This definitely could be like, why are you here? Bow. And then you get you got enough time to call the cops, make you a cup of tea, get you some tissue, wipe your tears away, all of that after you hit somebody with this. So, yeah, I got this. I wanted to get like a little trash can, but I couldn't find a, um, they had no trash cans. I went to the one in Oakland. That was crazy to me. I'm like, how y'all don't have no damn trash cans? So I got that. Then I bought these. This four set of these really, really cute champagne, um, glasses. They look like champagne flutes without the stem. And I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. These were $12.99. So, so pretty. Then, I got these. Y'all know I was looking for these. This is a two-pack. These are $14.99. Let me see what these look like. Yes. Oh, I should have got two of these. Uh, I should have got two of these. Look at these. These are the glasses that I have been looking for, y'all. These are the ones that I have been looking for. Oh, beautiful. I think I'm going to go back and get two more of these. I really do. So I can have like a, a four set. And then, so look, I don't even want these that close to the edge of the bed. And then, let me show y'all what these look like. Well, these would be really nice for, I'm not going to take them out the wrappers, but this is how big they are. These would be really nice for like a um, New Year's, like a New Year's toast. Like you have your little champagne and your little glass like New Year's. This might be something that I come back to. I'm going to use them before New Year's, of course, but this might be like what I pull out when I put my baby like um, sparkling grape juice in there so he don't have to be nervous about the stem. And then, oh, wait a minute. I don't want to show y'all that yet. Hold up. Ugh. And then, you guys, I got this. This is to go on that little, the little stand I have by my mirror. I want to, like, switch some stuff out because some of those sculptures are my mom's. And we just brought them down so that we could know what it would look like in the space. Out. So the color, the color scheme that I want for this room is neutral, white, black, and gold. So I got this, and I get it with a freaking sticker on the back, but it's okay. But I got this, very, very pretty, nice and tall. And then. Staying with the color thing. Oh, yeah. Don't be trying to look at my thighs. What's wrong with you? Y'all crazy. So I am going to switch out the stuff on that stand. I think I'm going to record that and show y'all. Maybe put that like at the end or something. 
And so this is another, this is just a little like a little vase. I don't think I'm gonna put anything in it. I just like it as like a, um, a little ASMR. I like it as a sculpture piece. So I don't really think I wanna put anything on it. And this was 16, this would put the tags here. What you putting tags on the side for? This is $16.99. So then, you put this bag here. So this, it was, I feel like it was a setup when I, when I went to Oakland today because initially, I knew that I was going to Cooper's Hawk, but when I saw the Home Goods and TJ Maxx, I said, let me just dip in the Home Goods and TJ Maxx, see what they talking about. I really wanted to look for that, those bracelet dupes that Gina Janine was talking about, but I ain't had the patience to look for them and I ain't seen them. So the two seconds that I looked for them and didn't see them, I was like, forget it, it ain't meant. So you guys, I know you guys are probably wondering like, OMG Candice, what could this possibly be? Y'all got some candles from Home Goods as well. Oh, listen. I never said that I didn't have a problem. I never said that. Never said that I didn't have a problem. So, you just take them out so that it's not, because I feel like I'm wasting time. We almost done, y'all. Believe it or not, we almost done. I think this is all the bags, yes. So, I ended up getting four candles from Home Goods. So, this first one that I got is called Wild Rose and Smoke. Listen, I don't know if y'all be able to see these or not. Let me see. Wild Rose and Smoke. And it smells like a light rose fragrance. I feel like this is going to burn so beautifully. This, this candle going to be gone quick. Because look how small it is. It's going to be gone quick. I already know. So, I'm already prepared for that. I mean, they're not meant to last forever anyway. But I like to burn them. I like the... They put me in like a calm mood. Y'all on episode 8 of... um, I was on episode 5 yesterday. I watched one, two more episodes yesterday. So, I'm on episode 8 now of The Midnight Club. So, I'm almost ready to come to y'all with the final thing. My final review. This is coconut and beeswax blend. It's called Fireside. And when I tell you, it's giving me Fireside. It has a real sweet honey type smell to it. I feel like it's really going to be, oh, it's going to make this room smell like candy. And I like that. Yeah, I mean. Real sweet. <laughs> Real, what, what's your mind say? Mm -hmm, mm, real good, real tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, this is oh, this the last one. I love um, all different types of scents. I, I tend to lean more towards the sweeter scents, but I do like um, more like, I guess like mature scents, like cologne type scents. I do like those. This next one that I got from Home Goods is called, I don't know if that's, I don't know, I can't see because the camera a little far from me, but it's called Apple and Fur. And this has like the little, I never had a candle with these wicks before, those type of the wooden wicks. So I'm really interested in how this burns. This has a very nice, um, it does, it has apple, I, you, could, you could smell the apple. I don't really know what fur smells like. I might have to look it up and see what fur smells like. But this has a very um, aromatic, it smells like a unisex, if, if this was a fragrance, it would be like a unisex fragrance. I could see smelling like, if this was kind of like a cologne or a perfume, I could, I could see smelling this on like a man or a woman. Anybody could wear this but it smells really good. The apple is not overbearing at all. And then the last candle that I got is called Black Tie. I love this container so much. And a beautiful thing about this is the candle is white, which lets me know that this is just the coloring of the container. So I could burn this candle and still be able to keep the container as like a little decorative piece, which I love for me. This is also a wick, um, a wooden wick 
This smells like a man. This smells like a professional man. This this smells like a grown man. Blue collar, white collar. This this smells like a man, baby. This this smells like this is this is smelling like so so um when I come over when I come over I'm gonna put that table together for you. When when I come over I'm a I'ma do I'ma do I'ma do something. I'ma do something when I come over. When I come over, you know. This is a you ready for me, babe? You ready for me, babe? Like this is this is that. This is that, yeah. Some of that action going on with this when this when this get burned. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love I love this. I love this. This is very aromatic. I might just take the top off and see what it do. I might not even burn it. Y'all have candles where you don't even have to burn them. All you gotta do is just take the top off and the, the natural scent from it. Cause it got ooh. Softwood, citrus, and herbal notes combined into a soothing fr baby. Yes, this is. I love this. I love this. This this my this is my no. This ain't my favorite one, but this is my top three out of all of them. I love all of them. They had some scents there at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I was like, what the hell? What the hell? What what is this supposed to smell like? Because it's not doing nothing like what y'all said it's supposed to do. So yeah, so this is all of the stuff that I got from TJ Maxx at home. Just hopefully y'all could see it all. This is what happens when you go into the store and you don't really have nothing that you're trying to buy. And so you just get random shit. This is what happens. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the stand up and then I will show you guys what the stand looks like all set up and purdy like. So and then I also went to Cooper's Hawk. So I went to Cooper's Hawk and I got um, four bottles of Prosecco and two bottles of Sweet Red. Um, and so yeah, that was like another like $130. But that's like, that's normal. When I buy wine at Cooper's Hawk, that's normal. So I ain't really tripping on that. I was more um, kind of upset with myself about just going and buying random shit. Because did I need all these candles? No, did I want all these candles? Yes. Smoking be